I have no idea as to what this is or where it's come from. Mystery pop. Well, I know it's a Funko pop or a pop of some sort. Let's unbox it. What's up dudes and dudettes, all you awesome people, welcome to the Geeky Heaven channel. I am Glenn, the Geeky Heaven, here with a mystery package. I, <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's not something I've ordered. It's not one of my recent pop swaps, which I've been doing my pop swap episodes. This is a mystery pop. It just says on the box, it's got, it's got Geeky Heaven, it's got my address, and it says reference mystery pop. It's come from Hermes. I don't know what it is. Only way to find out is to crack it open with the dragon sword and see what it is. Here we go. Look at that. Geeky Heaven logo. Oh, I love that. I think I know where this has come from now. I had a mystery box sent to me and it had the same symbol on it. Oh, is this fan mail? Dude, what have you got me? There's a note. Let me read the note first of all. To Glenn, I saw your 14 questions video and you said you didn't have a flop pop. So I thought to myself, we can't have this. So I have sent you a pop. I think you might like it. Even if it's not your cup of tea, it should go with your collection. Peace out, McDougal Strudel. I knew it was you as soon as I saw that logo. I love that, by the way. He sent me a Z-Box and it said, not Z-Box. Geeky heathen box or something. Oh, I've got, I've got it. Um, I've got it down here. I've got it buried away. It says, not Z-Box. The... And where it says mystery box made for geese, he's put the un-mystery box made for Glenn. <laughs> I love that. I still kept the box because uh, I'm using it to keep my pins in because I need. I love that box. And I love this little logo you drew. Absolutely fantastic. Um, okay. I've just seen that it's a Rick and Morty pop. So it is going to fit in my collection. It's going to fit my pop collection extremely well. Oh my goodness. You did not have to do this to me. I, I'm so excited. I've never had a flopped pop before. And oh, and it's Rick and Morty as well. I'm so oh, dude, I, honestly, what are you doing to me? Check this out, guys. He sent me flocked snowball. So it's flocked and exclusive. I've never ever had a flocked pop. Oh, I am looking forward to getting this out and seeing what it feels like. Here we are. Rick and Morty number 178 in the animated series. Flocked exclusive snowball. Check out the side art of this. And on the back here, I only have weaponized Rick because I was just collecting just the Ricks from Rick and Morty, like building up my own uh, Citadel of Ricks. But here's the weird thing. I was so tempted to buy a snowball anyway. Um, I kind of didn't buy Snowball because I was like, no, no, I'm just getting Ricks. Oh, I'm so happy that I've got this one now. But interesting part now. Let's get this out and see what the flock pop feels like. Oh, check this guy out. This feels so strange. So you have the plastic helmet and flocked body. Oh, it's so weird so so strange but what an awesome pop the head turns I really really like this oh, it's got a helmet across there what can I say nicely detailed pop nice looking I like the clear plastic vinyl views on top here it's almost like see through it is um, and the visor as well see through the visor that's really awesome that is so snowball what an awesome pop. And it's so strange. I'm probably going to spend ages now just feeling this flocked pop. 
It's so bizarre. But let's get him put away in his box safely. Here we are, back in the box. Oh, Dougal Strudel, you are an absolute legend. I absolutely love you, dude. This fits perfectly in my collection. I can't deny it. It's Rick and Morty. I'm a huge fan of Rick and Morty. A flock pop. It's so bizarre. I just couldn't stop feeling it because it's so strange. Well, that's the very, very first flock pop to have in my collection. I'm so happy to have it. If I had that before the 14 questions, then I would have had an answer. Favourite flock pop. <laughs> uh, absolutely love it. Guys, what do you think of this pop? What do you think of flock pops? Let me know in the comment section down below. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Normal YouTube stuff. What do you all think of flock pops? I wasn't too sure about them, but now I've got one. Apart from the touch, the fit, the century feel of it, I quite like the texture that's on the pop. So we have it on display. It's got a different texture to it than it would normal pop. I think I prefer a flocked pop over a normal pop for, especially for if creatures look like a, like a dog. If it's something like Chewbacca or a Wookiee or something or some sort of furred creature, I think a flocked pop would do, would do, would be amazing. Now I'm going to have to go and look at some flock pops, aren't I? <laughs> uh, thank you once again for that, with you all. Um, you're absolutely amazing. Kindness of your heart. You didn't have to do that, but I love you so much for it. Um, I'm going to end it here, guys. I'm the Geeky Heathen. As always, much love. And until next time, stay awesome.